shows it nicely. Okay. That's your nasal cavity. That's the oral and uvula and the pharynx. So that's the throat. So, so the that's pharynx the only is actually just a space, or is it an actual? It's your throat. It's a space. Yeah, part it of is the that throat. space. Throat. Yeah, it is that space. Yeah. Um, and it is the only space where the respiratory meets the digestive. That's where the two meet. Okay. After that, they separate again. So notice from there, you go to the esophagus. The esophagus. The esophagus is this. It's just a tube, muscular peristalsis. Connect the mouth to the stomach, and this is our stomach. Connects. Okay. Click the stomach. The stomach has. Stomach has four parts. This part, okay. remember it will be like this, something like that. Okay. Your heart would be here, therefore this part is the cardiac region where my finger is. Notice if I follow through, there's a little bag on top, that's the fundus, and then the rest is the body. Then there's a little tail, the little end of the J, because they said this is a J-shaped organ. Mm -hmm. So then that is your pylori. This is why if I look inside, the sphincter is the pylori sphincter. Because this is the pylori, this is the pylori sphincter. Okay. Esophagus, esophageal sphincter. The bottom one, top one, lower esophageal sphincter. Notice also all the rugae, the folds. Remember to discuss that in lecture. This is about the size of your stomach, except when it's empty, it's completely flat. Okay. Um, one more thing. Two more things, sorry. Notice there's a huge curve. We call that the greater curvature of the stomach. And then a small curve, lesser curvature. With the big curve, there is a lipid dripping connective tissue. We call the greater omentum, if you remember. Okay. So it will be draping over the intestine. And then smaller curve has the smaller omentum. Okay. Just for you to remember for lecture, because obviously we don't have it on the structure. Questions?